Hello, today we're going to show you a couple of tips and tricks on how to install bag releases into a CZ Scorpion Evo uh, lower receiver. The main thing that we see from customers when installing um, are like the HBI mag releases or swapping out factory magazine releases or even other aftermarket mag releases um, is, the, is the compression spring that's located between the magazine release and the lower receiver. The, the thing we see is bent spring so they get twisted or bound up or bent. Um, and they should be straight. The way it sits in the magazine release um, is that there's there's a pocket in the magazine release itself that kind of holds the spring, and the other side of the spring rides up against a face inside the lower receiver. So what can happen if the spring's not correctly aligned, the first time you go to cycle the magazine release on this on the on the pivot point, is the spring will get bound up and kind of pinched between the magazine release and the lower receiver and so in this case that you can kind of see the springs bent it doesn't once the spring is bent it's not going to allow the magazine release to kind of to fully cycle um, it'll be instead of the magazine release coming flush with the body of the lower receiver it's going to stop when it hits the, the the springs or the coils in the spring so it's really important that we don't damage or bend the return spring the i guess the, the tip or the trick here um, that we have found is to use our roll pin punch to kind of self align all the components before driving the roll pin through. So we're going to remove this one and we'll reinstall it and I'll kind of, kind of point that out. So we're going to use a 530 seconds roll pin punch. We know it's a roll pin punch because it has this little, um, the nub or the kind of the nipple or protrusion on one face that's going to help it to self center in the, in the roll pin. So we'll start by removing this roll pin. And with the roll pin removed, we have an interesting thing going on. The roll pin punch is still holding the mag release, the spring, the lower receiver, and it even functions. So right, you can put the, the magazine release in and the mag release will retain it, um, can release it. So one thing to do, um, I guess right now would be if you're in the reverse order would be to go put it on the lower receiver or put the upper and lower together. You could test the mag release to make sure it works. Um, so that's what we're going to kind of take advantage of. So let's remove this magazine release. Again, it's under preload from the spring. So kind of hold the mag release, remove the roll pin punch and let the magazine release come out. Um, here's the spring like we talked about in the just vertical orientation. It's in the pocket. It's not bent. If you were to lay it on a table and roll it, it's going to roll straight. Um, you're not going to see it <laughs> bouncing around. So we want to make sure the spring is, again, straight, square, not bent, not tweaked. And when we go to reinstall it, just kind of slide the spring and the magazine release down into the, lower, into the lower receiver. There's no mating pocket for this spring. It just goes up against the flat face in the inside the magwell. So kind of switch hands. So we'll slide the, the spring and the mag release back into place. Whoopsie. And slide it back down into the lower receiver. And then using our roll pin punch, we're gonna line up all three components. So the mag release and the spring will go into place and they're gonna align with the lower receiver. And once they're in, slowly and gently kind of work the mag magazine release um, back and forth. And that's gonna bring the spring into position and make sure the magazine release can work through its full arc. Um, again, might be a good time to kind of insert a magazine, remove it, make sure it's operating correctly. Um, and again, what this is gonna do is make sure the spring is not bent, not bound up. It's gonna keep the spring in alignment and let it naturally find its happy place, if you wanna call it that, between the magazine release and the lower receiver. So with that done, and we can verify it works and feels good, um, go ahead and put the roll pin back in. We'll insert the roll pin as, as we're removing the roll pin punch, kind of using the punch as a slave pin almost. The the roll pin is a press fit in the magazine release and a slip fit in the lower receiver body. So it should start kind of, I don't know, quarter inch or so into the lower receiver before you feel resistance. At that point, kind of grab your hammer. We're gonna use the hammer to, to tap the roll pin back in while leaving pressure on, on the punch so that the punch doesn't come shooting out the opposite side. And when we get 
maybe a quarter inch or so away from the, the lower receiver, we can then use the punch to finish the installation. So we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. And pins about a quarter inch off the lower receiver. You can go closer, just right, you're gonna get hammer closer to lower receiver. So remove the roll pin punch from the opposite side and we'll use it to kind of finish driving the pin into place. And with the pin in and the roll pin punch out, kind of operate magazine release. Notice it's smooth and operates through its like full range of motion. And again, you can test your magazines. You're just looking for just smooth insert and should they should, they should drop free. Um, there are different magazines for Evo, so not every single magazine out there is going to drop free. But for the most part, your magazine should drop free if it dropped free before with your factory magazine release or with the magazine release that was in the gun. When you switch magazine releases, your magazines should act the same way. So that is, I guess, tip of the day for installing your magazine release and keeping the spring straight. If you have any other questions or need any other information on anything um, Scorpion or even CZ related, please let us know. We're here on Facebook, Instagram, emails, call us. We're always here to help. Thanks.